So in this vlog, we're featuring crafts, Jamaican craft work. So from the the man that car. So we're going to look at some grass straw mats, and then we're going to the Jamaica Giants. That you will see some other different type of crafts. So this this type of craft in Jamaica Giants is gonna be stone crafts and hard work and trees that are like a thousand years old so right now we're in the Negril craft market and i am going to check with lloydell and uh, see what he have and show you the beauty and the talent that a lot of our jamaicans have um doing all these crafts so just gonna future a few crafts and um yeah, let's go on a tour, guys. So this is Lloydell um, craft shop right here. You can also get some Ludi boards and all these nice hard work made from him. And if you know Jamaica, everybody know the Nanny Maroon here. This is Lloydell, the man behind the craft. All right. Yeah. yeah, so I'm going to show you guys what the store, the shop look like. And uh, yeah, you can see all these nice hard work in here. These are beautiful and they're all handmade from him. Okay, so at this point, Lydell is making a wonderful, beautiful craft work right here. So what is this? What are you making right now, Lydell? The togetherness piece. Beautiful. Yes, so that's the mom. Right, right. And boss. Mom and the boss. So remember, behind every great man, there's a great woman. Yeah. So this is what this craft is representing. Yeah? representing. All right. And Lydell, how long have you been doing this type of work? Well, for the past 20 years. 20 years. Yeah, yeah. That's beautiful. Practicing, you know? Yes, wonderful yeah. talent. It comes natural. 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 All right. Talk, you, know? you hear that? Jamaican people are very talented, okay? Yeah, yeah. Have a lot of talent, have a lot of ambition, wow. hard work, come to Negril, support the locals. So let's go in and then I'm going to talk to Lloydell and find out how much can you get some of these nice crafts to put in your house, you know? Beautify your villa, beautify your patio, your gazebo all these nice areas you have come on guys we don't need a china fake looking things in our place we need these nice crafts look at this this is talking culture right here yeah we yeah we gotta stick to the culture right yeah man exactly Way back. Way back. There's a lot of work to bring it and still continue. Keep it going, you know what I mean? Yes. Yeah, so. When you come to Jamaica and see these nice hard work in your house, you know, say yes, we we'll reach a Jamaica. Look at this right here. And this right here is the Nanny Maroon. Right, yeah. Alright, so a nice craft work like this. How much is something beautiful like this? somebody can get something like this for when a piece like this we sell it like for like 400 us 400 us yeah. that's beautiful yeah. yeah that's nice and you have one one money you can't come with lydell if you want it and work with him you know yeah, yeah man 
and all these nice elephants elephant lovers i know some of you guys out there crazy about elephant there you go and how much can somebody get something cute and nice like this for that one will like $60. $60. Yeah. Okay, guys. So $60 for something like this mm -hmm. nice elephant. And as you can see, it's not that small. It's like a medium crown. Yes. And remember, this all take time and effort. Okay. So come and get some of these nice things and put on your wall. Yeah. yeah. Looking for a place to have a perfect vacation. All right, you guys can also get a Ludi board. So today I am getting this Ludi board because if you know me, you know I love a good Jamaican Ludi game. And Lloydell is going to beautify my Ludi board and give my own some names and all of these things. And I am going to come back and pick it up. So he also make Ludi boards. So if you're in the grill, you feel like you want to mash up somebody with a game of Ludi, just come and check Lloydell and buy your loody board you can take it back to the states with you if you're in the grill and you need to get something jamaican a nice jamaican game to take back and this game is very similar similar to parcheesy if you're from america and you play parcheesy before this is very similar to parcheesy so this is our jamaica parcheesy this is called the loody board okay so lloyd has finish my Ludi board as you can see right here I put some of the Jamaican tourism at Spatnik Grill, Montego Bay, Ocho Reyes, and Treasure Beach on my Ludi board all right so thank you Lloyd so we're here we're gonna check Ted today um, he makes all these nice um, mats and baskets and hammocks as you can see in this video and we're gonna just check out what he have and maybe support the local and buy something from him in the meantime so i want to show you all these wonderful you know nice rasta hammock if you have a yard space you can buy one of these very nice chill in your yard and all these nice mats baskets as you can see they're all uncrafted by ted and also these nice beads you can put on your kitchen and we're gonna buy one of these lampshades today hi ted how are you all right so this is ted he's the man behind the craft and ted made these um nice crafts here yes some people call it Bandra. Yeah. But it has so many names. Some people call it palm straw. Yeah. It has so many names. I like all of these trades coming from the palm and the pitcher. Nice. Yeah, natural Wonderful. It's good for bathroom, kitchen. Yes, alright. Anywhere, living room. Yes. Anywhere in the house you want to try because it works. Awesome, awesome okay so um these nice mats here you know living room kitchen or uh, wherever you have a little accent wall you want to spice it up a little these are beautiful nice basket as you can see um so how much can someone get one of these for these nice mats okay so nine thousand or ten thousand jamaican dollars not bad at all it's less than a hundred us 
so you can buy something nice like this um, to beautify your place and spice it up and let it look island like you know instead of buying all these things from China in Jamaica we like to support the locals we like to have all these nice things you can have nice shades lampshades if you have beautiful places you want to decorate this uh, these are my styles this this is what I like they also have Ted also have cozies here for your red stripe you have a nice restaurant or patio somewhere gazebo these are really nice for your red stripe beer so when you're passing through the grill check out Ted is right by the fisherman area where they do the boat and this is the man behind the craft as you can see come and check it out support the locals and enjoy the crafts of Jamaica okay I'm getting this nice lamp shade here because I have this beautiful coral lamp that I want to change the shade so I'm getting this nice shade from Ted to put over my lamp so I'll show you guys a photo of it when I do and I put it in my vacation villa called Splash Rock Villa because this is our style so I like to support the locals also and craft stuff from Jamaica that's our style okay guys so this next tour we're going on is at the Jamaica Giants a lot of people in Jamaica don't know about this place um, so come with me on this tour and enjoy the art and culture of Jamaica this is gonna be an amazing tour Watching the sun go away. 